Dr Sue Pillins, also known as Dr Susie Starfish, is an artist and a marine scientist. She loves bringing her passion for marine biology and art together and is also involved in researching whale sharks. That looks great! Thanks, Lee. <laughs> well, now I have a few whale shark questions, though. First question, is it a whale or a shark? Great question. The name comes from the size, the enormous size of the shark. So whales are huge, so it's called a whale shark. It's actually a shark. All right, and when you're out there researching them, what are you hoping to find out? Well, we're tagging whale sharks because even though they're huge in size um, and they aggregate and they, they feed in, in Australian waters every year at the same time, we still don't know a lot about them. So we don't know where they move, we don't know how old they are, we don't even know how many babies they have. So by tagging whale sharks, we can actually, you know, better understand where they're going and what their life history is like. Scientists like Susie also get to know whale sharks based on their spots and stripes. Each whale shark has their own unique pattern like a fingerprint that scientists can compare to photographs of whale sharks from all over the planet. This satellite tag was used to track Big Mama. She's a huge 8 metre whale shark. She travelled a whopping 7.5 thousand kilometres in just seven months from Ningaloo Reef in Western Australia up to Indonesia and back. That's a huge journey for a huge shark. So today we're talking about science and art, but I wanted to make it a little bit of a challenge. So what's going to happen is Dr. Susie Starfish here is going to describe what a creature from the ocean looks like and I'm going to try and draw it based on your description and I'll see how I go. I am a large shelled reptile. I love to eat seagrass, algae and chomping on jellyfish. I love to swim a long way. And females, when they nest, will always return to their birthplace to lay their eggs. Can I show you what I got? So here's the shell. I was thinking like this type of shell, like maybe a snail is my inspiration. And old, so there's wrinkles on the face. Um, eating a jellyfish over here, looking very happy about it, with some fins, because you mentioned the fins. And then here's some eggs. Out this is back. fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Do you know what it is? <laughs> now I'm regretting this, because I think maybe, is it meant to be a turtle? Absolutely, it's meant oh. to be a green turtle. Oh, well this, I was off track with that shell from the beginning. <laughs> You can see how doing something like this, even though this isn't correct scientifically, it still made me think a lot about the features of the creatures. Absolutely. So drawing is thinking, okay? So when you draw, you actually remember more. So art and science together go really, really well. Well, when you, when you draw, you remember more. Have a go at home. Try this out uh, with your favourite animal and one of your best friends. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. See you later.